Hi, I'm Mary from ISV Squared. Due to the most recent ransomware attacks, we wanted to provide information on how to protect yourself, your company, and your data from falling victim to similar attacks. This last week, a large-scale ransomware campaign, dubbed WannaCry, WannaCrypt, WannaDecrypt, or WCry, infected over 100,000 computers in more than 150 countries. Microsoft issued a patch to fix this flaw back in March 2017. However, many organizations that have slow patch cycles or run older, unsupported versions of Windows, like Windows XP, Windows 8, or Windows Server 2003, did not have a security patch available for download. You may have seen news reports and articles related to this ransomware as it continues to infect machines worldwide. This particular piece of malware acts like a worm. After infecting a machine, it will look for other vulnerable machines connected to the same network and infect them as well which is why the infection is spreading quickly. The initial spread of WannaCry, like many other ransomware variants, is through malicious spam, in which fake invoices, job offers, and other social engineering lures are sent to random email addresses, enticing users to click an attachment or visit an infected website. In the case of WannaCry, the software demands the victim to pay a ransom of $300 in bitcoins at the time of infection. If the ransom is not paid within three days, the amount doubles to $600. If the ransom is not paid after seven days, WannaCry will delete all encrypted files and all data will be lost. What can you do to prevent this type of attack? Organizations can implement the following preventative measures. Apply the patch for this vulnerability. Blacklist the domains and DNS associated with the malware at your perimeter. Configure spam filters to prevent phishing email from reaching end users. Antivirus and anti-malware solutions should be set to automatically conduct regular scans and apply definition updates. Configure access controls including files, directory, and network share permissions with least privilege in mind. Develop, institute, and practice employee education programs for identifying scams, malicious links, and attempted social engineering. Test your backup to ensure they work correctly upon use. Disable SMB ports 139 and 445 if disabling those ports will not adversely affect your operations. If SMB is being used in your environment, block inbound traffic over port 139 and 445. Do not allow RDP and SMB connections directly from the internet. Block connections to Tor nodes and Tor traffic. If the infection vector was through Eternal Blue, then double pulsar backdoor may exist. Countercept's Python script can be used to help identify its existence and eradicate it. Please see references for GitHub link. Ensure processes and procedures for backup are functional and that data can be restored. Ensure the backup is not shared on the network. Recommended remediation practices include the following. Isolate infected machines and get them off the network. Recover from backup if possible. Update to the latest IPS signatures to detect and prevent the malicious traffic. Implement DNS filtering or proxy services that protect against these types of attacks. Activate your incidents response plan and do not wait. Contact law enforcement, contact local FBI upon discovery to report an intrusion and ask for assistance. If possible, maintain and provide relevant logs. Paying ransom doesn't guarantee retrieval of encrypted files, as well as decryption of files does not mean the removal of malware infection. It's important to note that new variants of WannaCry continue to emerge. This threat is far from over, so stay vigilant and implement patches and other defenses when alerts are issued by vendors and leading authorities like U.S. CERT. Good luck and stay safe.